sure as clothing has become a burden. <laughs> I'm fed up of seeing transit videos. Nothing works. All predictions have failed for different astrologers. For my chart, it seems there's nothing good. Everything is bad. Or is it, you know, just like good, bad, good, bad, good, bad, good, bad. This is nice. This is not nice. You know, this will work for you. This may not work for you. This short remedy, totkas, this remedy, that remedy, this works, that works. You know, oh, this worked for him. Why does it not work for me? Ah, well, if you are facing any of these questions or if certain things are going on in your life, then it is most likely that you are running the dasha of planets placed in Dustana houses or the lords of Dustanas. And that is why you need to understand when Dustana houses are activated in your chart, there is no free will. You can't do anything. You just have to bear the karma. Now, you may not at all like to hear this, but that's brutal reality. There's no compromise with this. There is no escaping from this. When the Dustanas are active, you will have to face your karma. And no matter what not you do, materially or even astrology-wise, spiritually, whatever you do, the karma will come. The poison will be there in your life. Alright, so first thing that you need to do, if astrology is becoming a poison, then you need to understand that this is a karma which, see, you have to, you have to accept that. Acceptance is the first step. If you don't accept, if you're running, you know, like every day you are watching 10 astrology videos, you know, of course, I also upload one video on astrology almost every day. But does it mean that everybody has to watch, <laughs> not just mine or, you know, any, any astrologer, every day do you need to watch like, you know, one video is okay, one or two videos every day, you know, you are very passionate, that's great. But if you are watching like a dozen videos every day, this will this will destroy your mind. Unless you are doing it in a very systematic way, under the guidance of a mentor or you are pursuing a course, that's a totally different uh, thing where you are learning and doing research. But in general, if you are, you know, unhappy in life, you know, you, you don't have money, you don't have relationships, you, your health is bad, you know, you are miserable, you are depressed and you are just going on raising astrology videos of oh, it's not the best thing for your mental health and your physical health and your psychophysical nature, all right? Very dangerous it is. Because as much as you like to hear this or you don't, astrology is is a combination of the 8th house and the ninth house. Many people say astrology is 8th house, some say it's ninth house. No, actually it's a combination because the 8th house is the graveyard, smashan, what happens in a graveyard? Things die, things end, right? So what is ending? Your happiness. <laughs> happiness is ending. So Lord Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Dukhalayam Ashashvatam This material world is a place of misery. Whenever the Dustana houses are activated, you feel miserable in life. There are things which you want desperately, but you don't get it. So what should you do? Should you continue grazing astrology videos? Well, that's the first thing. See, the first is acceptance. Accept the fact that your life is difficult or maybe it is going to be difficult for a while. Till the Mahadasha or the Antardasha ends. For some people, it could be Mars Mahadasha, which is, you know, seven years. It could be Sun, which is six years, Moon, ten years. Or it could be Venus, which is 20 years. So a very tough time sometimes. Two decades of your life gone. But... Nonetheless, first step is acceptance. If you don't accept it, nothing will work. So accept that this is a karmic reaction that you are facing and that will reduce at least 20 to 30 percent. At least 30 percent of your problems will be gone if you just accept. Because if you are running, running, running all the time, you know, then you are not accepting. You are not because acceptance is brutal, but it's empowering. So initially, acceptance seems to be very daunting. Oh, how can I accept? You know, I, I'm screwed for the next uh, five years, ten years. But that's how it is. Uh, you have to accept sometimes, you know, then there's nothing you can do. All right. And this is not fatalistic, but this is coming in terms to reality. Sometimes bad karma comes and there is nothing much you can do, unfortunately. All right. So first is acceptance. 
Then the second thing that you need to do is see what are some of the areas that are still under your control in your life and focus in those areas. So for example, suppose your relationships are not working, you're getting divorced or you know, you're not able to get married, then at least focus on your health, focus on your purpose, your career, your profession, your creativity, your passions, your hobbies, you know, your friends, friend circle. <laughs> So that so something will be in your control. Okay, I mean life is not that bad that nothing is in your control. To some extent, some certain things will be in your control. And if there's nothing in your control, your 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 relationships are screwed up. You know your your career is gone. Your health is screwed up. At least you will have some friends. Okay, or at least you will have some family members. So make the best use of the bad bargain. Whatever you can whatever is still in your control to some extent, hold to it and try to not screw it up. Because when dashas, dashas are bad and one area of life is very badly hit, it it uh, it mostly, you know, goes into other areas of life. For example, if you are having a very bad marriage, it will, you know, spill off to your career. You will have fights with your colleagues, uh, you know, with your boss, you know, because you are angry and frustrated. So, Whenever you have some good area of life, when you have achievements in some area of life, don't let the bad area overpower that because otherwise you will lose both. Okay, it's very, very, very problematic then. So this is the second thing. And the third thing is do some spiritual practices to whatever extent possible. If you can do daily, you know, do some chanting of mantras or you can chant Om Namo Narayanaya, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. You can chant the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. You can chant Om Namo Bhagavate Shri Vamanaya, Om Namo Bhagavate Narsimaya. You can chant these mantras, whichever you like. But try to do this every day, at least one round, one mala. I know it's very difficult sometimes, you know, when dashas are bad, our mind is going crazy and chanting mantras is the last thing that we want to do, but that's the first thing that we should do. <laughs> so therefore, Chant this, chant these mantras, any one of these, I'm telling you. I said just any one of these five mantras, if you chant 108 times every day, even if you don't like somehow, you know, you are distracted or whatever, you know, just chant, all right? They will help you to calm down your raging mind. And this is very difficult, as I said, but you have to do it. Otherwise, it your mind will make things even worse. So, see, one thing is your external life is already problematic. If your mind is also not under control, then your mind will exaggerate these scenarios and, you know, show you the worst case scenario and you'll feel like vomiting out, you know, you feel like the poison is unbearable, you'll feel it. So, most of the times what happens is your life is not that difficult. It is problematic, but the mind makes, the mind exaggerates it and it shows, you know, that, oh, it's like, it's doomed for you. You are a useless a loser. You, you are good for nothing. You are, you, you, you are, you are the most crappy person that ever existed. So therefore, try to control the mind to some extent, to whatever extent possible. Okay. Next, the fourth thing that you should do is have some discipline in your life. This will this will take you my the head. So discipline means again, please chant one mala every day. Try to do some exercise, do Surya Namaskar, do Pranayam. Even if you are not having a job and you are trying, you know, learn something. Do something, some, do something, you know, from like 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., you know, or 5 p.m., 6 p.m., do something. If you have no services to offer, nobody is ready to buy from you, nobody is ready to hire you, learn something at least. Do something. Please do something. At least take if you can't give. Uh, take from people, all right? Take their knowledge if you can. And the next thing that you should do is do some charity. <laughs> Maybe one day, my God, I have no money, how can I do charity? Well, you don't have to do charity of your wealth. You, know, you can do charity of your time. So, for example, you can go to some temple or some gurdwara, you know, or feed prasad to people, take part in langar. You can do some social service, go to old age home, you know. 
help kids, you know, help people who are deprived, you know, of uh, backward communities, you know. It will really help you, all right? And the next thing that you can do is seriously you can fast. So on any specific day, you know, if you are facing problems like related to a planet, so for example, if your married life is very bad or you are not getting married, then you can fast on Fridays. So men, please fast on Fridays if you have problems in your marriage and ladies, please fast on Thursdays. All right, very, very, very important. All right, so acceptance, accept things. Then what was the second one? Do whatever you can. Try to take care of the things that are still in your control. Try to channel one of the five mantras that we discussed, you know. Try to do some social service. Try to try to help people who are needy. You know. Just do it. What, whatever you can, whatever is in your reach, right? And try to fast on that day. I hope these remedies will help you and take you out of poison which has come through astrology or your karma, all right? But nonetheless, if it is bogging you too much, if astrology has become a poison, then please limit your online content, all right? And focus more on watching spiritual stuff. That will certainly help you and empower you, all right? Take care. See you soon. Bye. <laughs>